offense plays. Yes, Andrew, you see behind me the rubble of the buildings that collapsed. The woman we spoke with woke to see the flames swallowing that building right next door before the flame spread to take her home as well. A psychiatrist says the man who admits setting this fire that left nine homeless, did more than $2 million destruction, appears schizophrenic, psychotic, bipolar. These flames destroyed the apartment home of Catherine McCutcheon. I'm going to be honest with you. When I first heard that he set the fire, I was angry. Defendant Edward McDonald seems unusually happy, cheerful, hearing voices and having hallucinations, the doctor told the judge. Despite losing her home, Victor McCutcheon tells us. And I just thank God for the compassion that he gave me, and I just pray that he gets the help he needs. She shared with us these pictures she took as she tried but failed to save belongings from this apartment. She shared with her 23 year old daughter she raised here. If she had not been home that night, I don't know if I'd have died from smoke inhalation or what. And she came to my room and she called me and she said, I didn't answer. She called me five times and I finally answered. McCutcheon saw flames and embers through her window and knocked to warn her neighbors. As I was coming down the hall, the glass block window in our building was just a ball of red. Now she and her daughter are living separately at family and friends. They lost everything. I mean, she's calling me every night crying, and she keeps on telling me I want to go home. We don't have a home right now. So, but I trust God, and I know he's going to provide for us. Again, the defendant will be treated for up to 60 days at a state mental hospital, but we're told the wait to get into that hospital could be months, which will keep him in the Allegheny County Jail. Reporting live in Homestead, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Fire sweep.